everyone, this is Becky. Thank you so much for watching. Um, this video is going to be about how to create or achieve that flawless airbrushed effect on your face, which I've already done um, without using an airbrush compressor, but using a stippling brush. So this is what a stippling brush looks like. So just a quick info about the stippling brush. It is also known as a duo fiber brush or a skunk brush as most people would call it because of its appearance. And as you can see, there's two kinds of bristles right here at different lengths. Um, this black, the short black one down here is made out of goat hair. And then this longer bristles right here is made out of synthetic. And it's a really multi-purpose brush. Um, I use it for powder blush, cream blushers, and for this video I actually used it for liquid foundation to create that flawless finish airbrush effect. So if you guys want to learn how to do it, please stay tuned and watch this video. So you want to start off with a really clean and moisturized face, which I've already done. Um, I just used my um, SkinMD moisturizer, my lip balm, and eye cream. And then next is I'm going to use a primer for my face. And I really like using my Smashbox Photo Finish Face Primer, Foundation Primer. And this is oil-free, so it's really good. It helps to combat the oils on my skin. And I really like using a primer because it helps the foundation to last long, especially if you're going to be out for a long time. So using a primer really, really helps. And I'm just going to use um, just a little pump. I'm not even going to use that much. And I'm just going to apply it on the area of my face where um, the foundation would usually fade um, faster minus like around the cheek area um, around the nose the forehead okay so I'm just gonna grab two of my All Maze Line Smoothing Concealer and for under the eyes to get rid of those really nasty dark circles as you can see I have them um, lack of sleep and staying up late um, I'm just going to mix two shades actually one medium and one medium light okay and I'm just gonna warm it up on the back of my hand I'm just using my finger to apply this and I'm just going to dab it really gently under the eye area okay and you want to go in that inner corner because that tends to be dark too. So I want to conceal that. And then to conceal the rest of my face, I'm going to use the medium shade, which is really close to my skin tone. And same thing, I'm just going to apply some on the back of my hand. And you could use a foundation brush or like a concealer brush to do this, but I just like to use my finger sometimes just because I find that it warms up the product um, really well and it's just easier to apply onto the skin. So I have blemishes here, just cover that up. So onto the foundation application, I'm just going to grab my studio, not studio, <laughs> my duo fiber brush. What am I seeing? And this is by Sigma SS187. And my choice of foundation is Revlon Color Stay. It's really, really good. I've been reaching for this foundation every time I do my makeup. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit of product on the back of my hand. Just be very careful. I kind of wish um, they came with a pump. So I could just easily, you know, take the product out, but whatever. All right, so grab your dual fiber brush. And what you're going to do, you're just going to dip that brush onto that liquid foundation really lightly. Okay, okay. and you want to start on one part or one section of your face. I mean, it doesn't matter how you start, but just don't go crazy and start brushing your face. Um, what I'm going to do is... I'm just going to start on this part right here and I'm just going to stipple. Okay? Stipple or poking my face. I'm just doing it over and over. Okay? I don't know if you can see it, but 
it's gonna leave like little dots on your face and that's what you want like really really fine dots just do it again yeah, it's easier to start on one area. So you want to keep on doing this until you see or you get the desired um, coverage that you want. Around the mouth and the nose. And just keep on stippling. Don't forget your ears. A little bit down the neck area. On the forehead. And make sure you get the, um, around the hairline as well. And your eyes. So I'm just looking at my face to see if I still need more coverage. Um, it looks like I don't. And I really, really like this finish. It looks so flawless. I don't know if you could see it or... I don't know. But, yeah, it looks really, really So nice. next is I'm going to set my makeup with the translucent powder. Sometimes I use my powder foundation, but this time I'm just using my Dermablend Professional Setting Powder. And I got this one at... at I got this at Ulta. Wow, I can't even talk. But it's not one of those um, white translucent powders you can see. It has a little bit or just a hint of color to it. So I really, really like that one. So I'm just going to put a little bit of product on the cap. Okay, not too much. I'm going to get my powder puff. And this is just by Equal Tools. And I'm just going to dip it in there. Tap off the excess on the back of your hand and just press and roll. Okay, don't forget under the eye, around the nose area. You want to powder your eyes too. So, this is the finished look, you guys, on how to create that nice, flawless, airbrushed look using your stippling brush and your liquid foundation and i hope you guys like this and i hope this was helpful and please don't forget to subscribe and comment and also visit my blog and um thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video Bye bye